Previously, we talked about overpotential, the concept of overpotential. It is the potential difference between the actual electrode potential versus the equilibrium electrode potential. And uh, we also talked about butler volmer equation, which uh, relates the overpotential for an electrode and uh, the resulting current, assuming there's no mass transfer limitation, or assuming the it, there is active stirring and the concentration is uniform, is the same throughout the electrochemical system. However, in practice, once elect an electrochemical reaction starts, the active redox species could be the oxidized species, could be the reduced species, the concentration may change and as a result it's often not uniform not uniform for the active species because of that as a result quite often we would have a over potential a potential difference between um actual and equilibrium due to this concentration gradient or concentration variation let's look at this example for example we have copper electrode and uh, in the solution, there's a copper ion, and the cathodic reaction, of course, would be copper 2 plus ion combined with two electrons to form copper metal. Okay, and uh, the copper 2 plus ion concentration at the electrode surface is defined as Cs, while the copper 2 plus ion in the solution deep within the solution or we say sometimes say in the bulk of the solution would be c0 okay and uh, when you think of a cathodic reaction and then when you think of the how does the copper 2 plus ion concentration change with respect to x x for location or distance into the electrolyte from the copper electrode so we put zero at the copper electrode and the X increase as we get deeper and deeper into the electrolyte solution. Okay, and uh, if we are considering cathodic reaction, which means reduction going from copper to plus ion to copper metal, as you can imagine, initially within the solution, everything concentration would be C0 or the bulk concentration, but as soon as a cathodic bias or uh, potential is applied, the copper 2 plus ion near the copper electrode will start to be consumed as copper 2 plus ion combine with electron to form copper metal. So as a result, near the electrode surface, this copper 2 plus ion concentration would be relatively lower than within the bulk. How much lower? Depends on the current. If we don't have active stirring, if we are considering the actual condition, okay? And sometimes under um, certain condition, you may find the surface concentration Cs for copper 2 plus ion at the electrode maybe start from zero and uh, it increases gradually and reaches the bulk value deep in the solution. Okay, this would be the cathodic situation, a reduction situation for copper 2 plus ion. If you consider copper 2 plus ion concentration near the surface. It will be lower because copper 2 plus ion is consumed for this reduction half cell or cathodic half cell reaction. On the other hand, if we consider anodic reaction, which is an oxidation half cell reaction going from copper metal, release electron to form copper 2 plus. Okay. Going from copper metal, release electron to form copper 2 plus ion. And again, the surface concentration would be Cs and the bulk solution concentration would be C0. And in this case, let's assume the 
deep in the bulk, the concentration of copper 2 plus ion is relatively low. So if we still consider the concentration of copper 2 plus ion with respect to x on distance into the electrolyte, okay, because we are generating more copper 2 ion right at the interface, right at the interface between the copper electrode and uh, the electrolyte, you may find the concentration would be higher at the surface. Cs would be higher compared with the bulk in the solution, okay, or C0. So this is for the situation of anodic or oxidation half cell. We are generating copper 2 plus ion by applying a anodic um, polarization over potential and uh, because we are generating copper 2 plus ion near the surface, the local concentration Cs near the electrode surface would be higher than deep within the bulk. Okay, so for both of these situations, cathodic versus anodic half cell reaction, the Nernst equation can roughly be used to estimate the over potential. But this over potential is due to this concentration gradient, all this changing concentration within the electrochemical system, quite often within the electrolyte for um, liquid electrolyte material, or quite often if it involves gas in the gas phase. For electroactive species, you have to, the concentration gradient has to be for the electroactive species. It cannot be for other inert ions of solvent molecules. It has to be for electrochemically active species. For example, in this case, copper 2 plus ion. The copper metal, of course, uh, the concentration is always 1 in the metal and it's 0 in the solution. So the focus here would be the active species in this particular half cell reaction would be for the copper 2 plus ion. That will be our electrochemically active species. And the concentration changes from location to location and the resulting over potential can be estimated by Nernst equation and the concentration gradient is quite often between right at the interface of the electrode electrolyte and deep in the electrochemical system, quite often in the electrolyte for liquid electrolyte or in the gas phase. Okay, so if for such a simplified or generalized electrochemical reaction from OX to combine with N electron to form reduced species, OX is for oxidized species, uh, ED is for reduced species. For such a simple uh, electrochemical uh, reaction, if we are focusing on an active species, such as, for example, oxidized species. Uh, just to give an example, using oxidized species as the electrochemically active species. Then, if the concentration at the surface is Cs active, and then the concentration in the bulk is C0, similarly C0 or C0 active. If we have the two concentrations, one is deep within the system, bulk concentration C0 or C0, and one at the electrode electrolyte interface, Cs, as for surface or for interface. Okay, if we know these two concentrations, the concentration over potential, the concentration but over potential for that particular electrode half cell reaction would be eta can be estimated by Nernst equation. I said estimate. It's not exact, but it can be reasonably estimated by RTNF, R, gas constant, T, absolute temperature, N, the number of electrons transferred for that specific electrode or half cell reaction. And for this particular copper 2 plus ion into copper metal, N would be 2. F, of course, would be Faraday constant times natural log of the ratio between surface concentration to bulk concentration. The ratio between surface concentration to bulk concentration. 
this would give us the electrode concentration over potential. It's an over potential, which means the difference uh, between uh, different regions, but it's coming from concentration and it's for a particular electrode. Okay. And this eta, our concentration over potential, as you see, can be positive or negative. If, as you see in this equation, the surface concentration is greater than the bulk concentration, it will be positive. The concentration of potential would be positive. On the other hand, if the surface concentration is lower than the bulk concentration, the concentration of potential would be negative. So that's the first note. Another note is the surface concentration, quite often, the CS active, active species, can, it's often unknown. It's often unknown. C0 or C0 is quite often the concentration is known because that's the concentration you make the electrochemical system which you specified. Okay, but for the surface concentration, it's often unknown.